Okay, so I'm having a morning of, God, I don't know. So today is our company picnic, and all of the people in my department are wearing tie-dye shirts. As you can see, I'm wearing mine that I made. Um, I forgot to rinse the damn thing, so I'm hoping that the ink doesn't, like, drip all over me and get on my skin and whatever. So, whatever, I just forgot. And... Then I'm like panicking this morning because I'm thinking, oh God, I didn't make anything for this DM picnic. I forgot. I didn't think about it. I just, you know, just didn't, I don't know what the heck. So I start boiling macaroni this morning to try and say, oh, maybe I'll make a macaroni salad, you know, like put a little Greek spin on it with some feta cheese and olives. That's always a good yummy thing. Well, then Shelly calls and tells me that we don't have to bring anything to the damn picnic unless we're participating in the dessert contest. I'm like, Ugh. so I'm rushing around this morning, freaking out over macaroni salad. So now I'm on my way to Starbucks to meet Shelly and my good buddy, Russell. And hopefully that Starbucks delicious beverage will ease all my anxiety. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Well. I was right. I feel better already. I have my Starbucks. It's a beautiful day. And hopefully, it'll just keep getting better and better. I'm going to try not to stress over these little silly things. And my tie-dye shirt looks kind of nice. I like the colors. Waiting for Shelly and Ruz, as usual. Here's Ruzzy in his tie-dye shirt. I like the colors, Ruz. Thanks. We're at Starbucks now. I think I did a good job, considering. Let me see the back. Cool, right? Russell Zulos. Gonna get coffee. Nice shirt! Our whole department's wearing tie-dye. Hi, Rosie! Hello. Don't we look cute in our Starbucks shirts? Starbucks shirts? Tie-dye shirt, you mean? Yeah, that. Yes. Weren't there three circles, tables, and not one rectangle one? Well, apparently people mess it up when they come out here. Weird. Yes. Oh, and there's Shelly wearing hers. Yeah. Nice and bright, guys. This is our morning adventure. Hello. Lillian's join us. Hello. Hi. Hi. So, go right next right to there? Ruz. I want to take you guys near each other. So it looks like we're all like crazy. Woo! Say hello to our hello. YouTube fans. Hello! Good morning! Hello! We're going to have an adventure. A good adventure today. I know. Yes, these are our tie-dye shirts that we made for our company picnic. I think you two look like twins. You're very they yellow like, today. I, I don't have a beard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but look at Mine's like yellow. Uh-huh. Am I the we only one? The blue. Am I the only one that wore an undershirt under mine? I think so. <laughs> the guy. Only guy in the department because Callahan's on here. Oh. Wait. It's not working. How do you get it to switch? Ah! So how do you feel about wearing tie-dye, the three of us, at Starbucks? One, I feel like we're a big group of dorks, because everyone's <laughs> looking at us like, really dudes? And two, another thing I really thought of was, who would ever pay to pay to buy a tie-dye shirt when you could just make it for like a few bucks? Like, yeah, you have to put in your own time and it gets messy sometimes, but still, like, you can get these for 12, 15 bucks. You know what I mean? We spent what? People don't want to. Yeah. People don't want to get it all. Don't want to buy all this stuff to make it and get it all messy. Yeah. Anyway, that's my little rant for today. <laughs> oh, it's bringing me back to the '60s. I know. You were alive in the '60s. <laughs> I was born in the '60s. I was gonna say I didn't think you were a teeny bop in the '60s. No, I was not a teeny bop. But... I was never this a teeny bop. This morning, um, this one young lady puts on a CD. Of the 60s. Ooh, just so. Just and we perfect. were bopping and dancing, weren't we? Just like that. <laughs> Shelly does like to dance. Uh huh. I don't. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I'm fine about it. I don't care what people think. Oh, I don't care what people think. Mm -hmm. I just feel like 
not many people wear tie dye in a group like this all the time. <laughs> well, at the picnic, there's going to be what, 12 of us? Yeah, something like that. Yes, we'll have to take a photo. So, this is our adventure for the morning tie dye Starbucks time. And Russell has been doing some shout. We're going to shout out to Russell's channel Thanks. because he's been doing some snack. What is it called? You Tuesday Night Bites. Yeah, and what do you do on this show? I review odd and awesome snacks and mainly it's just me talking about the food and eating a bunch of it before I oh say Oh my goodness. I ate all of it. Look at Another <laughs> tie-dye shirt. Oh my god, we are the tie-dye people. Where's your tie-dye? My adventure for to I can't even freaking talk for today. An ambulance ride. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Why are you in a hair? Uh, Got stung by a bee. And I'm allergic to bees. And what happened? You had your EpiPen for the first time ever, which was awesome. Yeah. And, and my granddaughter, she tells me she went through the window to get the EpiPen. I heard that, yeah. She's yeah. the hero of the story today. Yeah. So we got your truck. It's in the parking lot. Good old Resi. So Starbucks to emergency room. Always an adventure with you, Shelly. Yeah, I guess so. 